The following feature has been rated F for family entertainment. Hello everyone, and welcome to TMP Cyberlink Studios. For those of you who clicked on this video, well, congratulations! You've got a free ticket to see coming attractions of my movie-slash-TV title predictions. Movies and television shows are forms of entertainment which show genres galore, comedy, documentary, action-adventure, and others to keep us either entertained or informed. My predictions not only support some of the following genres, but with kids-slash-family-friendliness and nostalgia as well. I did my research and came up with 10 title theories, one half for movies, and the other half for TV shows. So with that being said, grab some popcorn and other refreshments, smash the like button, and let's bring our feature predictions. As we travel back in time in the early 1960s, MGM made two classical motion pictures about Flipper, in addition with a 1996 remake by Universal Pictures and The Bubble Factory. While these are adorably wonderful movies, I wish for another remake about it, while maintaining the reputation of the 1990s vibe and family friendliness. To keep it within these nostalgic qualities of the theme, I hoped for Orion Pictures to make this title come to reality, since they barely make family films, alongside MGM, United Artists, and Amazon Studios. The next movie prediction would also contain dolphins, but here's a little trivia. What name of a dolphin starred in a movie in collaboration with Logan Allen, Lola Salton, and Kevin Sorbo? If you said Bernie the Dolphin like Squirt did, you are a genius. The first two movies, in my opinion, are splash-tastic. As mentioned in the special feature footage in the second movie, one of the actors expected for a third one in the near future. When it does, my heart would sing a nostalgic harmony. Ambi Media Group, with Fairway Film Alliance and Digital Caviar by their side, would not only be suitable matches for making this wonderful movie title, but complete the Bernie the Dolphin trilogy as well. Moving forward, let's dig deep into a magical wonderland filled with one of Ronald Dahl's memorable children's books. They seem wonderful to read, though my major focus leads to Matilda. It is a story about a clever young girl who has powers to defend her friends from tough bullies like her father, or worse yet, Agatha Trunchbull. I have seen a movie adaptation based on that, produced by TriStar Pictures in 1996. It was a wonderful masterpiece, especially with one of my favorite actresses, Mara Wilson. I have received word that Working Title Films is planning to develop a remake about Matilda. I hope this company makes this come to reality in the near future, in collaboration with TriStar Pictures and the Ronald Dahl Story Company. The last two movie predictions will be expected for completing their trilogies, like Bernie the Dolphin. One of them is The Nut Job. If you pay close attention after the credits in the second movie, there is an antagonist named Raccoon stranded in the ocean, but close by to the city. Will he survive through and plan payback to what Shirley had done in the first movie? 
This is what I'd like to see in the third Nudjob movie, as far as the plot is concerned. For this movie company prediction, I picked STX Entertainment, since the Nudjob franchise is underrated for some reason. What is not underrated, however, is a tropical movie title that I highly anticipated for. That, my friends, is Rio. My hope for this franchise is to complete the trilogy with a third movie. This will follow the birds in addition with a slobbery bulldog friend Luis in a samba tackler journey from the Amazon rainforest to Miami for an enormous party. Blue and his feathery friends will migrate with ease. Luis does not fly, however. He needs to find useful transportation to get there before it's too late. Maybe he could find new friends for assistance on his way. No matter what adventure to follow, they will encounter obstacles and enemies galore. One exception is Nigel, because of what happened in the falling action part of the second Rio movie. Other than that, the rest of the Rio cast, including Jess Eisenberg, Jamie Foxx, Anne Hathaway, Tracy Morgan, and others listed, will still be there for nostalgic and humorous talent. 20th Century Studios, under the Disney Company division, would be the way to go to hopefully make the third Rio movie come to reality. Even though Blue Sky Studios was shut down, which was an upsetting event that happened, I still have faith. And if Disney works together with 20th Century Studios and a new animation company similar to Blue Sky with correct graphics, I would appreciate it with pure happiness. <laughs> Television shows share a bit less in plots within sceneries unlike movies. They are not particularly my big interest. However, my curiosity leads to my randomly selected shows, from Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon, to see the future of what are coming up. Starting with Paw Patrol. Currently, this popular early childhood television series is the only one I praise tremendously for excellent CGI graphics, cute slash nostalgic voice talent, and cheerful slash dramatic music. I would like to expect more DVDs that feature my top favorite episodes, specifically Awesome Rescues from Chase and Rubble. Spin Master Entertainment also announced that the first Paw Patrol movie is about to be in theaters and for streaming this August. And speaking of the movie, I would like to give a special shout out to Outright Games and Drakkar Studio for making a video game based on that for consoles to wrap up more fun and excitement. Maybe in the future, I would like to see if they could make at least one more Paw Patrol game while maintaining the correct difficulty and have more nostalgic elements. For some people that prefer a bit more spice in television entertainment, let me knock two birds in one stone with Rugrats and the Wild Thornberries. These two nostalgic TV shows are splat-tastic hits in the 90s and early 2000s. For now, only the Rugrats franchise is available to watch in brand new 3D CGI graphics while the Wild Thornberries are yet to be announced. Other than that, I wish for both franchises to have brand new DVDs based on their imaginative slash jungle filled adventures, in addition with the complete series from the original. I am a little bit surprised to see that Klasky Sapo is still the creator of the Rugrats reboot. I hope this plays the same to the Wild Thornberries reboot as well, if they plan to do so. The next Nicktoons series is outdated. However, like Rio, I wish with all my passion to look back and expand visionaries with Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. 
It was a clever show back in the 2000s, in addition with a movie. In fact, I wish to see more episodes, specifically for Jimmy Neutron himself, alongside his mechanical K-9 Goddard, on their stellar travels around Ratchelville and outer space. Furthermore, a complete series DVD of the original show would increase galactic nostalgia galore. Omation Entertainment and DNA Productions were the original companies who collabed with Nickelodeon for the show. If Nickelodeon plans to reboot this with similar 3D CGI graphics, that would be a spectacular treat. Although the next TV series is not particularly a Nicktoon, it was acquired by Viacom CBS in 2019 for a brand new one. That is from a lasagna eating cat named Garfield. Throughout the years, he had led us to all kinds of wacky shenanigans to make us laugh with delight, especially with all his other friends. I would expect this franchise to have more DVDs that feature complete series of the original Garfield and Friends and the Garfield Show, as well as the new series with a few titles to begin with. Paws Incorporated is still the original company for Garfield. Just be aware that this is now under the Nickelodeon division for the brand new series coming soon. Coming up next is a recap, along with predictions for other movies, television shows, and video games listed to complete Destination Nostalgia. Stay tuned!
ready for your time to shine? What would your movie-slash-TV show predictions be as far as titles, genres, and other descriptions? I would appreciate it when you let me know in the comments section below. You will receive a like and optional feedback slash shoutout on your comment when I love the idea or match my predictions with respect. Thank you for your attention and watching this video. Oh, and on your way out, please be sure to dispose your empty popcorn containers and other refreshments to the nearest garbage receptacles. I hope you did not eat too much and end up getting a stomach ache. <laughs> Anyways, we will see you next time as we unveil the hidden wonders of Destination Nostalgia. Thank you.